Happy birthday, birthday to Manny. Happy birthday to Manny. Happy birthday, to Manny. Happy birthday <laughs> dear Bunny. Happy birthday to you. I think we will need to help you learn in your training. <laughs> Everybody's attention for the rules, okay? A lot of it is about your safety. And then we're going to get your tour started. Who here is ready to see an alligator today? Who here is ready to see newborn little piglets that can fit in the palm of your hand? Guys, we have so many baby animals out here. Wait till you see what we have out here. So let's head on now and uh, go look for them. So once again, my name is Rhonda. Welcome to Babcock Ranch. You go tours. Let's get your tour started. Here we go. Nice and what would that alligator be eating? Well, every now and then you see bubbles on top of the water. They're actually made by these air-breathing catfish known as walking catfish. Not only do they come up and breathe there, but they can walk on land as well. They're invasive. The beautiful sand hill crane. Let's go sailing. Alright guys, so the Samuel Crane can grow up to 5 feet tall and have over a 6 foot wingspan. They migrate from as far north as Canada, Alaska, even Siberia. Now Samuel Cranes are monogamous birds, which means they mate for life, they're lovers forever. In fact, notice the red heart shaped crown on the top of their head. Now should the other mate pass away for some reason, they will look for another mate. Now they're a pasture bird, they build their nests along open pastures. Females can lay up to three eggs. A juvenile sandhill crane is called a colt, just like a horse. Colts will stay at the parish for about eight months to a year before they go out on their own. They're also incredibly loud birds. The sound they make can be heard over two miles away. At night when they sleep, they stand on one leg and tuck their heads back between their wings. Keep eyes open for the little guys. So you guys are looking at the Piney Woods Rooter, otherwise known as the wild pig or the feral hog. Hogs are not native to Florida. Uh, they were brought over here as Spanish settlers in the late 1400s as domesticated hogs. But they let them run wild and now they're out of control. The female of the sow, she can start having litters as young as six months old. They give anywhere from three to 12 piglets and they give three litters in one year. So the problem with the hogs, guys, you notice that they have dirty noses. They come out in these areas and dig it all up with their nose. You may have noticed it throughout the tour. It's called rooting. Uh, you may have noticed it's very destructive. It kills tree saplings, weakens root systems, and they also destroy crops. So because they multiply so quickly, and because they create so much damage, they really encourage people to go out and hunt trap hogs. It is open season for hogs here in the state of Florida. Florida is second to the state of Texas for having the highest population of feral hogs. Seriously? Seriously, guys. 
Look at those little black and brown ones. Oh my gosh, I want to pick one up. Can we take oh one? Oh my goodness. I, I want to pick one up. Look at all, they're playing in the hay, in the grass. Oh. by both Hurricane Irma, which came up to the ranch five years ago as a Category 3, and of course the most recent hurricane, Hurricane Ian, which came up as a high-end Category 4. Good energy to the Babcock town, which is about six miles south of the ranch here. So after your tour today, you can head on down to the Solar City and check it out. It is open to the public. So as you're enjoying wildlife, guys, we have some turkey vultures on the left. Look for white-tailed deer in the solar panels as well. They hang out there. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you how this beautiful paradise of ours all got started. So our founding father is known as Edward Bose Babcock. Mr. Babcock was from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In fact, he was the mayor of Pittsburgh from 1918 to 1922. His family's been in the lumber industry since 1887, and he used to come down these areas to go hunting. He took notice of all the longleaf pine growing in the area, so therefore he purchased the ranch in 1914, 156,000 acres for roughly about $40,000. The Epcot family then sold the ranch in 2006 to the state of Florida. You ready for this? $350 million. It was the largest preservation purchase in the history of Florida. So the state of Florida owns the ranch today. 18,000 acres were sold to the Solar City. 65,000 acres were donated. It's today known as the Babcock Cecil Web, right across the street. And this cattle preserve you guys are on right now stands at 73,000 acres which is still rather large. That's roughly about the size of the city of Orlando.
Right. Any questions about the American alligator, guys? No. Oh my God, guys! I'm gonna put them away so guess they all get to say now. How do you say goodbye to a gator? See you later. Bye, alligator.